Job creation and the economy are expected to be a big part of the president's State of the Union address tonight as thousands of people's jobs right here in the Miami Valley hang in the balance. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is the Miami Valley's largest employer. Automatic cuts, called a sequester, will take more than $111 million from Ohio's economy and lost wages during the first six months after it's implemented, according to an article published by our partners at the Dayton Business Journal. More than 14,000 workers in Ohio would be affected by furloughs. As many as 13,000 of those employees could be from Wright-Pat. The looming sequester deadline is March 1st. Congressman Mike Turner says the president must come forward with a plan now in order to avert these massive cuts, layoffs and furloughs. I was afraid we'd be right here, right where we are. And that is with the president not having a plan, Congress in gridlock and these cuts looming. Um, if nothing happens in the next three weeks, we're going to have over 10,000 jobs that are at risk in the Miami Valley, um, our national security at risk. Uh, I don't see any leadership coming from the president, so what we're hoping to see for him tonight is a concrete plan. Senator Sherrod Brown says the president will also focus on creating new jobs across the state of Ohio. Well, Miami Valley is one of the best examples in Ohio of, of you know, spawning new manufacturing, new industry. I mean, I know what happened to NCR and to DHL and to, um, to the Moraine plant, but I also know because of Wright Pat. And because of the investment there, we see new technologies and in, in new industries, whether it's in Fairborn or Springfield or Dayton or anywhere in the Valley. The president is also expected to announce the withdrawal of 34,000 troops from Afghanistan within a year. Coming up at 6, local military families react to that plan. For now, reporting live, Jackie Sprague, 2 News.